welcome to cooking at Nana Blige. Ketchup, America's favorite condiment. I actually salsa passed it a few years ago, but I grew up with ketchup and we, Midwest, we put ketchup on a lot of things. Heinz was our brand at home, um, but there's a lot of different brands. And so we still have ketchup in the house. Um, but I was challenged years ago when I was the chef at a restaurant uh, called Muffaletta in St. Paul, Minnesota. Sadly, that restaurant closed in 2017, uh, but it was there for 40 years and Phil Roberts, uh, my mentor and owner from that restaurant challenged me to come up with the Muffaletta house ketchup recipe. So lots of trials and lots of tweaks and um, twists and all of that. But we started with raw tomatoes and eventually got to our recipe that we all loved. No, it doesn't taste exactly like Heinz. It's got some great flavor, but it is ketchup and it's a signature dish. Uh, and so today I'm going to teach you how to make homemade ketchup. So to start with raw tomatoes for ketchup, we're first gonna get them in this pot of boiling water, whole, because what I want to do is that it'll blister the skins or leave them in there for a couple minutes, pull them out, and then we'll go to the sink and we'll peel all the skins out and core it. And then we're left with just the meat of the tomato that we can start to cook with all of the seasonings and reduce down, and then we'll blend it and then strain it out and then make sure that it cooks down to be some nice thick ketchup. just about to come off now. It'll be easy to peel them in the sink. All our tomatoes are peeled and in the pot. Here are all the seasonings that we're going to use to turn those tomatoes into ketchup. We've got some pepper, some salt, we're going to add just a dash of hot sauce. It's not going to make it hot, don't worry. A little red wine vinegar for some punch. We've got some nutmeg and some ginger, onion, garlic, a little bit of sugar because ketchup's always got just that little bit of sweetness. And then three little allspice berries. You wouldn't think it would do much, but it adds just the right touch of flavor. So let's measure this all out and then we'll get it into the pot with the tomatoes and start the cooking. Here we have everything measured and ready to go. So you can see we've got our tomatoes all peeled in the pot. I cut them in half. Uh, we're gonna add all the rest of the ingredients and then begin all of the slow cooking to Break up the tomatoes, let all the seasonings come together, and create some great ketchup. Tomatoes are nice and soft. I'm now going to use the hand blender and puree everything. You can see I've been pushing on this, trying to get a lot, most of the liquid out of there and there's some solids left. This is the part where you have to have some patience. What's left is everything that has no seeds in it. It's a little runny and that's why we're going to return it to the stove and let it cook down some more. You can see this has been cooking for quite a while now. It's amazing what five pounds of tomatoes cooks down to. But I like to cook it until you can see the spoon you run that through there, it doesn't fall back into the bottom pot and you can see a line through there. It's getting pretty nice and thick. It's like ketchup now. I think it's done. Here we have our homemade ketchup. All those five pounds of tomatoes cooks down to about a pint jar, which is just amazing. Um, you can make a big batch of this. It's a really great way to make some homemade ketchup and give it away as a gift. Um, but it's just got all that nice tomato flavor, the tanginess from the vinegar, and the onion, it's got a little bit of that warm spice uh, from the ginger and the allspice, and then just a little bit of sweetness. 
So thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Nana Lodge. Enjoy your own homemade ketchup.